Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and we back at it, man. We've been playing Forza uh, Motorsport 6 for a couple days, man. So for those of you guys who have been, you know, paying attention, we were able to do a few different builds that are not in uh, Forza Horizon 3, man. So definitely, uh, let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section. If you guys are new to the channel, man, uh, we're taking one request per video uploaded. So, uh, yeah, man, that's the way the situation's going. But as always, man, there can always only be one request uh, per video uploaded, man. And today's request is coming from a couple people on YouTube, man. Steven Jacobs and Benz E Twist both want to see a Nissan Juke build, man. Now, I'm a big Nissan fan. Can't say that I really enjoyed the Juke too much however i had to even look that this was available in forza motorsport 6 and it turns out that it is man so i really i i couldn't pass up the opportunity to do one of these all oddball builds man um so we're gonna jump in where's the nissan section man i'm all over the place right now we're gonna jump into the nissan section as you can see a couple really cool different nissans here the idx nismo very sick man if you guys want to see that let me know down in the comment section um but this one the nismo juke rs now i'm not 100 percent sure if this is the one with the r35 power plant in it i it doesn't look like it uh, clearly from the numbers this is a front wheel drive uh but this still has i believe a two liter twin uh not twin turbo two liter turbo my mistake before i go ahead and say some stuff that people are going to uh you know just completely hang me for however uh what i'm thinking we're going to do is jump up in the nismo rs man i'm excited to see what this thing can do and uh we're gonna you know see if we can make it a little bit uh nicer than it already is man um, so we're going to go ahead, pick the manufacturer white right off of the bat, go ahead and buy this up and jump up in the upgrade shop and see what we can do with this thing, man. I'm expecting there to be a couple of really good engine swap options, mainly the R35 engine swap. Now it's got the RB26 option, 3.7 liter. There's the uh, R35. Um, so that's looking extremely sick right there. I'm thinking we're definitely go with that going to go with that 3.7 liter V6, man. Um, now there was a very crazy juke model. Now I just went ahead and uh, hit that googly man, and it turns out this thing's called the Juke R. So what we're going to do for today's build is try to make a Juke R replica, man. Now what we got here is an all-wheel drive uh, with the R35 power plant on here. We're going to leave this thing what? stock naturally aspirated so what is this are we talking about a 3.7 liter engine coming from a nissan 370z is that what this engine is from all right well we're gonna do our best to replicate the juke r with the 3.7 liter and we're gonna add some twin turbos on here to make this thing sound like an r35 I'm really surprised that they didn't have the like straight up R35 swap for that. I guess they gave us the R RB26, which was, you know, I guess that's kind of all right, but it's definitely not the same, man. Um, but we got the 3.7 liter with the twin turbos on here. So I think that should be, uh, that should be pretty good enough to call this thing a juke R. Um, now obviously tires are going to need to get upgraded because we're putting a lot more power down to this thing uh, than we would on your normal like you know two liter juke front wheel drive man like this thing's about business um so i'm gonna search a few different wheel options here and see what i find uh something that's really gonna suit this car is what i'm looking for now i'm gonna go with these koenig daylights now i probably will switch up the actual color of them but to be honest i just really like the design and the style of them uh, the wheel size, I think we're going to keep, I mean, I know this thing comes with the R35 20 inch wheels on there, but 20s look really goofy on this. So we're going to go ahead and stick with the 18s on this thing. Um, obviously the drivetrain is going to need a little bit of work. Um, we're going to need a new transmission, man. What can I say? We've done a lot of work to this thing engine wise already, and we haven't even hit the engine upgrade section of this thing differential i think we can leave the way that it is as far as the brakes go 
We're gonna go ahead and upgrade those, man, because this thing's definitely gonna need a little bit more stopping power. I don't know, man. Race springs and dampers. I think that's a necessity, man. Any roll bars, most definitely. A lot of people don't like the jukes because the front end, I, I'll admit, are a little bit ugly. But on the Nismo jukes, I can't lie, they're ki they kind of grown on me. You know what I mean? Uh, especially, I, like, this is an RS model. But if you look at the the Juke R, which is the, the, the model that comes stock with the R35 power plant in it, the thing, it, it looks pretty good, man. I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty high. Uh, but as far as the engine upgrades go, we're not going to get too, too carried away. Intake, exhaust, I think are going to definitely be a necessity. The turbos are going to get upgraded, most definitely. And I think what I probably am going to do is throw some cams on here. Oh my God, look at this. It's in the race mode. Okay, cams are a little much. I think we're going to leave it the way that it is because really if we're already into like the R because if we're already in the R, uh, you know, the R performance points is I think what the word that I'm looking for, then we're really this thing's going to be an absolute monster already. Now, really, there's not too much that needs to be done. I'm just going to lower this thing to the ground, stiffen up the anti roll bars just a little bit. Let me see. Uh, dampening stiffen up everything just a little bit because really let's be honest this thing's kind of like a family car from stock and now we just put like this serious race engine in it so things are going to need to get stiffened up just a little bit more for handling and I think that's going to be pretty good now the last thing we need to do is paint this thing I really am not a fan of those uh, the wheels being gold on this thing so what I think we're probably going to do is paint the body on this now, I want to see, from the manufacturer, it looks like we get all the red accents and the little Nismo stickers on here. But as soon as we paint it this color, we lose those. I don't know, man. I kind of like the little Nismo stripe on there, even though it says RS. I still think that's a pretty good look. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install that. Now, as far as the wheel color goes, oh, oh come on, really? Okay, let me see. Can we do black wheels and then go back to our Nismo? Uh, let's see here, ladies and gentlemen. No, that's going to be it right there. So as soon as you paint the wheels, you lose that stripe. I'm a fan of the stripe, man. So I'm going to go ahead, just tin up the windows here. And we lose the stripe with the tinted windows. All righty. Forza does not want us to have... But I like the stripe, man. We're sticking with the stripe. We're going to save this to the current car. Uh, just switching it up a little bit here. Now, I'll admit, I didn't like the kind of goldish wheels at first. But now that the car is black, uh, SUV, truck, I don't really know what to call this. Uh, now that it's black, you know, I think it might actually be pretty good. So I think we're going to take this one to Laguna Seca, uh, see what it's all about here. Now, before we get started, let's just do a little 360 here little bit of a rev revs pretty slow considering man maybe that's because that's the 3.7 liter from the 370 okay maybe not maybe not i think we're in business here ladies and gentlemen now how does it handle that's really going to be the ultimate question brakes could definitely use a little bit of work doesn't take much to hit the e-brake and swing that back end around, which I do like. Oh, we're taking her off-road here. I guess it's a juke. It can handle a little bit of off-roading, right? Okay. It's definitely pretty quick. I wouldn't say it's, like, super fast where I'm surprised... That with just the turbo upgrade, oh, don't hit the wall. With just the turbo upgrade, we were going to be already in the, uh, like, race performance points, man. Because this, it sounds amazing, though, man. It sounds really good. I'm not, I'm not even watching the road. I need to get it together here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one thing I do feel like I need to do is just upgrade the brake pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, let's see gearing alignment 
springs and brakes. There we go. Let's just up the pressure just a little bit there. Uh, we'll go to 150 and see if that helps with the braking coming into the corners. It sounds great though. I'll admit the sounds in Motorsport 6 too, man. I've been playing a lot of Hor uh, Horizon 3 and the sounds in Motorsport 6 are I think a little bit better, man. A little more authentic. The engine swaps are definitely more authentic to the uh, manufacturer you know the manufacturer that you're dealing with here this being a nissan had a couple different nissan options you know what i mean if this was horizon 3 they'd be like uh v8 v10 or v12 and it's like well okay that's every single car has the same engine swaps it's like nothing's really original about that you know what i mean but um Ooh, she boots. Let's get a little interior shot here. This thing is cool, man. I'm not going to lie. I like this. This is a fun build. So if you guys know that there, if there's any cars in uh, Motorsport 6 that you guys want to see built that are not in, let's say, Horizon 3, let me know down in the comments section. I did see a Mitsubishi Eclipse in there, actually. I think this game has it, so we can do it in this game. I know it's a DLC for Horizon 3. I just moved right now, and I don't have the internet um, at this current point in time. However, oh, this thing boots. Um, however, you know, I'm doing my best here to just keep the content flowing. One of the reasons, really, I can't do, like, certain specific builds just because a lot of the cars are, like, DLC cars. And uh, a lot of them require wraps that I can't, I can't build, but I know a lot of guys... Oh, we're going into the wall here. Nope. All-wheel drive. Saving the day. Uh, but yeah, a lot of wraps that I can't really replicate that I know are available in the marketplace. Um, so I should have the internet within the next week. We're actually going through hell trying to get an internet company to come out here. Kind of in the boondocks, man. But um, nonetheless, this this thing is mint. This is this is probably like one of the best builds that I think I'm, I'm I will have done this all this whole week here, man. Really super fresh. We're not. I was gonna take a picture by the Mazda sign. But the Mazda, man. Um, like wow, I am impressed with this little juke. Like thoroughly, man. It's a uh, it's a fun little car. It's quick. It has lots of power. And I mean, damn, I'm, like. I don't really know what else to say, man. This is a awesome little car, man. You guys let me know what you think of this one down in the comments section. If you wanna see like more oddball builds like this one, like, you know, let me know, man. Cause this is, this is hilarious to be honest. This is a, this is a funny little build. Um, but as always, man, I'm thinking we're probably going to put an end to this one. So as always, if you guys did enjoy it, uh, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet, we're doing builds like this every single day of the week, man. So definitely stay tuned. Uh, keep it locked, stick around. And, um, yeah, I'm thinking that's about it, man. So as always, I am your boy Dinali, AKA Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching and we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Ooh, recovery of a lifetime. Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh! Fuck! Yeah, keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the race or anything.